Hi, this is Sue Kaufman, your wellness coach for real life, bringing you directions on how to complete the Power One workout. So the Power Workout is kind of the end of a phase where we've been doing body weight workout, hypertrophy workout to grow your muscles, strength workout to make your muscles stronger, and then the last phase is the power workout, and power workouts are designed specifically to change your body composition so you can kind of lean out. So how this works, first of all, when you uh, use the weights, for women you want no more than 10 pounds for upper body uh, exercises and no more than 15 for lower body. If you're doing a combined exercise, go with the upper body weight. Guys, no more than 15 to 20 for upper body, no more than 20 to 25 for lower body. And instead of counting reps, you're going to go with time. So what you need is some kind of a timer and I have what's called a bit timer. This one is one that you can purchase um, from the app store. But there are a lot of free timers out there too, so you can you can get whatever kind of timer that you want. Uh, what you need is sorry about the um, light. What you need is something that will give you a work phase and a rest phase. So you see here, I've I've set mine so that you have 30 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. And on the workout, there are five different workouts per set. So you set it for five times. So when you get to the end of that set it will stop then. So you want to work or do the exercise for 30 seconds and then you rest for 15. When you're doing your repetitions, you are going to do them, you're not gonna go through them as fast as you possibly can, but you're going, like if, let's say you're doing an overhead press. One, two, three. There's no lowering phase that's longer than the actual lifting phase. You're going to go through it with a one to one ratio. So that's my directions for it and then you're going to see next the actual exercises so enjoy this workout and uh get lean see ya